this new digitally advanced technological era with AI, 5G, EVs, solar panels, and nuclear technology has rapidly depleted the already diminishing supply of silver. This article claims that unless the US and Canada invest in mining projects, we will run out of silver by 2025. Silver's most important role isn't just for going green, as some may think. It's actually the military-industrial complex, with Tomahawk missiles using up to 500 ounces of silver and torpedoes using upwards of 11,000, not to mention the thousands of other uses between military and solar alone. Silver wins wars. Those are some of the reasons why countries like Russia, India, and China have been buying titanic-sized boatloads of silver before the price inevitably goes up. And with that said, it's probably not a bad idea if you do too. All right, folks, we're going to be breaking down an article from the Silver Academy that came out yesterday. So it's brand new titled China's appetite for silver will drain all this silver before the end of 2025, which is a huge claim to make. So I'm curious where he goes with this. Now, if you like videos like this, if you want price updates, forecasts, anything from geopolitics, economics, and anything in between, make sure you click subscribe because I post daily videos covering it all. So with that said, let's jump into this article. Unless the U.S. and Canada invest in mining projects, silver will run out by 2025. Our list of silver miners can outperform physical silver by five to one average. So the video below shows flying cars, self-driving cars, along with massive infrastructure, bridges, bullet trains that levitate for high speed, a technology that requires silver magnets so trains levitate. Let's check out some of these clips. Now this is, I guess, a flying car. It looks like a huge drone slash helicopter type thing. Um, very impressive though. Uh, so Wuhan, the city, deploys 1,000 driveless cars in one night, already picking up 5 million passengers. It took China only seven days to rebuild this bridge that was collapsed by a passing ship, which that is very impressive. They fixed it in seven days. I wonder how long that, that would have taken the United States. Baltimore Bridge rebuild could take up to 10 years. I remember. Wow. So there you go. And this happened. This was March 28th, 2024. So city builds while U.S. bombs. Chinese high-speed railway map 2008 versus 2020. Wow. So China is the leading manufacturer of good and infrastructure. The U.S. is the leading manufacturer of bombs. Left, what China produces. Right is what the U.S. produces. So... Yeah, I mean, American bombs, Chinese, or China builds, China builds 1,000 schools in Iraq. Um, so you can see this. Now, China is the biggest consumer of silver. India actually, I think, outbeat them uh, last year. India actually imported more silver the first four months of this year than the entirety of last year alone. So India and China have been buying a lot of silver. 30,000 robots now work at Amazon, competing systems emerging. Now, we've been writing about these new technologies. Number one, EVs use silver. Robotics use a lot of silver. Solar power, 500,000 uh, 500, ounces for each gigawatt. 500,000 ounces for each gigawatt. That's the number three user of silver and fastest growing solar users are AI data centers. Number four is aerospace, which is satellites, space stations, uh, spacecraft. Our number two user, or the second user of silver. Uh, you have military, which is bombs, shells, rockets, missiles, torpedoes, nukes, jets, submarines. Number one use of silver. So remember that, right? The number one use of silver and number two aren't even incorporated in the um, in uh, the Silver Institute's annual report. So when they say that we are going to be reaching 1.4 billion ounces, that's that's act, that, that's not the the correct uh that's, that those numbers aren't correct they're extremely 
uh, underrated. And that means that when we talk about the silver shortage of their predicting 250 something million ounces in the red this year, there was 190 million ounces in the red last year. Over the past four years, it's been 770 million ounces in the red. They're actually much worse since we don't, uh, rec uh, you know, we don't incorporate the two largest sectors, which is military and aerospace. So number six is uh, 5G. Uh, America's took delivery of 1.5 or 5.1 million ounces of silver for solar panels with an increased silver load. We have AI, which will move into the number four position as silver users fueled by solar powered AI data centers. Uh, solar silver manufacturers are starting to panic as they try to get their hands on the last remaining physical silver. Um, and that's PTG division of SG America. Uh, or 5G, I don't know if that's SG or 5G America just took a delivery of, oh, I guess that probably is the actual company, SG America, took a delivery of over 5 million ounces of physical silver off the COMEX exchange for use in their new uh, solar panels. These panels have up to 44% efficiency, which is double the traditional perk cells, big swear. And yeah, these solar panels, they it's double because the solar panels actually have the the panels on both sides and since they're using them in like deserts the light reflecting off the sand can pick up energy on both sides of the solar panel uh so it's you know literally double and then you have like the n-type solar cells uh which that's, that's also um using and requiring more silver than the previous ones. So to make these these technologies more efficient, it requires more silver. So it's not like they're cutting back the amount of silver moving forwards. They're actually using more silver in all of these applications. So uh, a few months ago, the Reddit group r slash air prompt programming posed an interesting question to chat GPT. How much energy does a single GPT query uh, consume? And the estimated energy consumption of a Google search query is 0 0.0003 kilowatts. The estimated energy consumption of chat GPT-4 is 0 0.001 to 0 0.01 kilowatts, depending on the model size and number of tokens processed. That means a single GPT query consumes 1,567 percent or 15 times more energy than a Google search. To put it in context, a 60 watt incandescent light bulb consumes 0 0.06 kilowatts in an hour. So the research backs it. AI's energy footprint is growing as more people use it. So uh, U.S. presidential political joke, they don't even know what AI is. Neither presidential candidate has a clue when you walk or when you talk to the average U.S. citizen. All are concerned about inflation, corruption, unending wars, the environment, and the age of both Trump and Biden. Biden has late stage dementia, while his backers state the debate performance was due to jet lag. All the NATO war summit this week, Joe Biden introduced Zelensky as president. Okay. I can't say a lot of this because it's probably going to, uh, you know, shadow ban my video or just censor it, which is so insane to even have to say. So I might have to like skip over some of these words, but you guys can read it. He should be using AI. They have plugins for voice. Yeah, that like the part where he said um, four more years pause because he was reading the teleprompter. He did, he wasn't supposed to say the pause part. Uh, there exists no plan to govern the rapidly developing field of artificial intelligence like a heavy dose of anarchy. The tech industry never likes regulation, but they love to censor our thoughts on other things, which you guys know, banking or even alter AI results for discussions on climate. As AI becomes more prevalent and more powerful, the U.S. needs a concrete roadmap to maximize the technology, something neither Trump or Biden has qualifications for. Whoever is elected, however, Washington's goal is to outcompete China in tech will not change, nor will the crackdown on the country's access to American AI technologies. ChatGPT developer OpenAI recently notified users in China that they would be blocked from using its tools from July 9th. Some lawmakers are even pushing for export controls on open source AI models. Will such moves hinder China's AI development or inadvertently spur the growth of its homegrown developers? We'll have to wait and see. Which one do you think? And also, by the way, I know you guys um, probably wondering why I didn't bring up what happened yesterday with Trump. And it's for the same reason why I just mentioned, you know, I'm trying to keep my channel up and monetizable because this is how I make money. This is my job. Um, you know, and for the sake of my channel, but I 
do talk about it on, or I have been talking about it very thoroughly, a lot of my conspiracies and a lot of pictures and stuff, in the Secret Silver Society, which is a group for silver stackers that I started, the link's in the description, in the live chat or in the, in the, um, the members group discussion, we've been talking a lot about it and, um, you know, I just can't talk about it on here. If you guys want to join that, um, every member gets a chance to win silver every month. At the end of the month, we do a silver raffle. Basic members uh, get one raffle ticket per month and elite members get two raffle tickets plus like patreon only videos other stuff like that so um the first raffle is july 31st so if you guys want to check that out links in the description but that's why i haven't brought it up or can talk about it thoroughly i wish i could but um yeah if you guys want to know my thoughts or chat with me just go over go over there if you want to support the channel so um so yeah funding firepower Neil Shen, China's most powerful tech investor, has defied a funding freeze to raise the largest fund by a privately owned venture capital firm in China in the past year. Financial Times revealed last week that his venture firm, um, named Hong Shan, since the split, raised $18 billion, which is $2.5 billion in USD, funds this year. So it is the firm's seventh fund and comes almost exactly a year after it split with uh, Sequoia Capital. Um, so yeah, it shows who's using generative AI. China is number one by a landslide. U.S. is number two. U.K. is number three. Germany, number four. Japan, number five. So uh, many of our readers might take a using AI for granted at this point. From ChatGPT to Microsoft Copilot, generative AI tools have quickly become a central part of our lives. However, only 9.1% of people in Japan are using uh, AI, or gener uh, generative artificial intelligence, an appetite for Turkey. China's BYD will invest $1 billion in Turkey to set up an EV and plug-in hybrid vehicle factory with an annual capacity of 150,000 units, creating a second European production and export hub after its one, or after uh, the one it is building in Hungary. So this will be the first EV factory owned by a foreign manufacturer in Turkey, the facility is slated to begin production before the end of 2026 and is expected to employ 5,000 people. Um, so, yeah, it mentions that the European Union decided to impose sharply after higher tariffs on EVs imported from China. Um, so, while silver lost 1.5%, our elite group of silver miners gained an average of 9%. That's what we mean each week when we discuss leverage. Don't sit this out. When silver attacks $32.50 over the next 10 days, our miners will pop again. Silver is the number one conductor of energy because of its physical properties, such as being top rated for metal conductivity, reflecti reflectivity, malleability, ductility, corrosion, resistance, etc. Spiking demand from solar, aerospace, military, AI, levitating trains, robots, EVs, batteries, and electronics will intensify amid an environment with shrinking silver stockpiles. There's less silver above ground than gold. Unless we invest in silver mining, all of these industrial uses for silver will wipe out silver by late 2025. Um, then they go into some silver miners. Um, here's some that you guys can check out if you want. Uh, so yeah, they also mentioned sell your silver stock positions if the silver mining company is operating out of Mexico. Um, I'm not gonna go into that stuff. It, it's you know, it's a little, I, I just am not in the place. I'm not too educated on silver miners of those companies. You guys can check out, you know, whatever you want, you know, invest, um, you know, uh, responsibly. Um, and you want, especially when you're talking about stuff that isn't physical, gold and silver. Uh, so yeah, anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. Folks, remember to subscribe if you want daily videos like this. Uh, earlier today, I posted a video, or actually it was last night, about the U.S. Mint and how they're screwing us over again for the umpteenth time. You guys can go check that out. Posted a lot of different videos over the past couple of days. Um, I think you're going to enjoy all of them. They all have their parts. Uh, so yeah, anyways, also if you wanted to purchase some silver, you can email me slayer at milesfranklin.com or call me 330-485-6172. And if you wanted to, to join the, the Secret Silver Society, uh, the link's in the description, patreon.com slash silverslayer. 
And uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.